I, I like this country, man. It's a good country. Good country. And, and I love it. Today's exciting because it's one of those days where I have all this stuff to cram in, then I have to get into a car and go to the airport, and then I have to fly away. So it's like two days in one day. For this morning, that means one business meeting, already did it, second business meeting, about to go to now, then I've got to pack up all my gear, then I've got to go home, pack up all my clothes, then I have to figure out how to get my boosted board into a broken boosted bag board, get everything into a car, and then make it before my flight takes off. That's exciting! This is a quick meeting here with Matt, then I gotta get home. All right, I've got about 20 minutes to get ready, get out of here, get home, get packed, get to the airport. All right, I do need to get out of here. I am running late, but look at all these packages. I feel like I can do like a two second mail time. A rugged coffee maker? Where did this come from? Uh, whoever sent me two rugged coffee makers, thank you I guess, why? Rip Surf. All right, I don't know what this is. It looks like some sort of surfboard, skateboard. Thank you, whoever. Oh, hey. This is nice. A suitcase. A nice suitcase. Thank you for the suitcase. Uh, three packages, three cool things, and no letters. I don't even know who's... A letter! Dear Casey, thanks for taking the time to read this letter. Thanks for taking the time to write it. Inside you'll find something I personally created from uh, Looking Forward, Crazy Joe. All right, Crazy Joe. Crazy Joe. I appreciate this, but I can't show this to my... All right, this is a ring holder, and then what that literally means is if you wear a ring, you hang it on this. Now, I'm going to pixelate it, but try to use your best imagination as to what this is. That's a muscle man flexing his muscles. See which part is pixelated? In real life, it's anatomically correct. Thanks, Crazy Joe. I gotta get out of here. I don't know why I always wait until the last minute to pack. The key to packing a drone is to pack it upside down and then bury it with clothes. So when the inspectors see it from above, they just see this weird looking camera thing and it raises a lot less suspicions. Terminal. Terminal eight. Terminal eight. Yeah. Be comfortable. Thank you. And <laughs> it's a long drive though. How long is it gonna take us? What's traffic saying? They are talking about 50 to 55 minutes. All right, I can handle that. You know how long it takes to get to JFK in a helicopter? 
I don't know. Six minutes. Six, six minutes, no traffic, guaranteed. <laughs> there goes my helicopter. You're from here, right? Right there. It's a lot of fun. I was sound asleep for most of that ride. <laughs> when you wake up, you are taking the picture. Yeah, I was, I was enjoying. <laughs> All right. I literally was sound asleep that entire out cold. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. Like it. <laughs> thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. I've got a new all-time greatest Uber driver. That guy was amazing. Such a ray of sunshine. Do I have a window seat or an aisle seat? All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Because traffic was so bad, it took us forever to get here. I've got no time to dilly-dally here in the airport. I gotta take a shower, I'm putting on my pajamas, gotta get on the plane. Flight boards in like 15 minutes. My flight just got delayed three hours. American Airlines, what the f Just took a shower, I'm ready for my sleep. Guess I'll go back to the lounge. Flight's delayed, super quick, travel, Q&A, let's do 51 seconds on the clock. Have you ever had a flight that made you nervous or scared? The only flight I've ever been scared on was when I was flying into Afghanistan and we had to fly in a circle like this. And when I asked why, it was because it's harder to be targeted if you're landing like this versus landing like this, something like that. It was terrifying. Window or aisle? Window. Always. Favorite sweatpants to fly in? My favorite are my um, the skeleton ones because everybody loves them, but they're not the most comfortable. The most comfortable are disposable ones. Ones you get at Walmart for like five bucks, you just throw out after you wear them once. Why do you travel mostly without Francine and Candace? Have you ever traveled with a baby? I travel for business and traveling for business with a family is like impossible. Favorite airplane food? The cookies, 100%. How do you deal with turbulence? It's dark now, flight still hasn't left. Three hours and change late, uh, headed to the gate now. Thank you. You're welcome, bye bye now. unhappy people here. But, check this out. <laughs> Snacks, that's a nice gesture. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, hey, thank you very much. We are boarding our first in business class cabin. Not the first, but not far behind. Six G, six G, this is me. Okay, three hours later, I'm on the plane. This flight was supposed to take off now, five and a half hours ago. I like, I've been sitting in this seat for almost two hours now. Also, I miss my connecting flight tomorrow. American Airlines, come on. Oh, thank God. All right, we're in the air. Next stop. I guess I could address my red nose. 
tomorrow, May 26th, is Red Nose Day. Red Nose Day, Red Nose Day is about fun and being silly, but it's for a good cause. It's to support children here in the U.S. and around the world who are in need. It's a really great thing. They're doing a big thing tomorrow night at 9 o'clock on NBC where they have like a million celebrities get together all to raise money to help kids that are in need here in the States and around the world. I donated money because it's something I believe in. You should click the link below and you should donate money. And I really like kids and I hate the idea that kids are suffering. Okay, if you're even thinking or considering of contributing, thank you.